on this demo, I'm going to show you InterSystems Iris Adaptive Analytics. So I have installed Iris here. We're in a machine with 32 gigs of RAM and eight cores, and we have preloaded this with 1 billion rows. This could be your application, your Iris-based application, or your Iris-based data warehouse. We have installed Adaptive Analytics uh, on this other machine with also 32 gigs of RAM and eight cores. And we will be starting. We will start in the demo, uh, showing how we can build a virtual cube using the Design Center. Uh, this is a job for the data steward. He will take those tables here on your application and give it nice names and create a virtual cube. And then a business user will be opening up Excel and Tableau and using those uh, virtual cubes created by the data steward. As the business users query the data using this, the, his preferred tool, you're going to see how uh, adaptive analytics can get these queries, um, being SQL or MDX, and translate that into Iris and learn, apply machine learning to learn uh, about uh, those queries and create what we call aggregates or caching the data to make those queries run several times of magnitude faster. So you're going to see us querying a billion rows in uh, milliseconds. Let's see the demo. So here in Iris, we can see a table with about a billion records and some other tables that we'll be using to join with. Now let's jump into at scale. Here in the right, you can see the tables that we were looking in Iris. And you can take a look at the data if you want. And if you want to start modeling, you just drag that table into uh, the diagram. The blue ones is my fact table. The green ones are the dimension tables. The gray ones are degenerate tables. So as an example, let's start building a measure it's a simple aggregation. Let's click here, add a measure, give it a name. We can keep a short name, but we have a description field that's going to be visible on the BI tool. I'm not typing anything here because we need to move fast. Let's pick the table now. And let's pick the column from the table. Now let's pick what is the aggregation type. We have a lot, <laughs> not only mean, max, average, sum, but also standard deviation. And we can pick a folder. These folders will also be visible on the BI tools like Tableau. So you can organize everything here for the users in the BI tools. Let's just pick one and save. So this is a virtual cube. We are not bringing your data here. The data is still in Iris. Now let's talk about consumption, right? This is Tableau and all the dimensions and measures we saw there in at scale, they are here. And we can start dragging some stuff into uh, a report. And you can see that the data is coming in very fast, all the aggregations that we are asking for they are it's it's running on top of a billion records if we go back to at scale we can see the queries that tableau was sending to at scale this is the original query that is on top of the virtual cube but down here you can see also the queries that at scale was sending to iris so the original query sent by Tableau gets translated to this query you're looking at. And this query is joining the data and fetching the data from Iris. And as the users are using Tableau, Excel, whatever they want, at skill is learning from, from their queries, their queries patterns, and using machine learning to create aggregates. Uh, those are cache tables. So those are new tables created inside Iris that are, uh, are used by AdScale to hold these computations. So queries will be 
uh, a lot faster with time. As that skill learns, uh, the queries will become faster and faster. So now let's jump to Excel. Let's pick some dimensions here. The folders, as we described in at scale, they appear here. Let's just try to create a similar query that we did with Tableau. There you go. We have generated a very similar dashboard. Now in Excel, you can click plus and drill down. Again, we acquired a billion rows. If we go back to at scale, we can find the query here. This time it's MDX. So at scale translates this MDX to SQL as well. But look, this time uh, the SQL is much simpler they they are using a lot more aggregates this time so as people are using and querying at scale is learning and creating optimizations to make the queries run a lot faster let's go back to iris and see those aggregates uh, this there is a lot of work uh, that at scale is doing to integrate iris uh, into at scale. So here are the aggregates. And as this work moves forward, they will be using special features of Iris, um, our special indexes, and um, even some backdoors uh, to make this run faster and faster, much faster than any other databases. They have already told us that they have never seen performance like this with other databases they support.